All right, so this is how civilized human beings make coffee. It's a very straightforward process. Coffee is more or less disgusting. It makes people smell disgusting. It's a disgusting beverage. But on occasion, on rare occasions, say maybe two times a week, coffee is an acceptable beverage. First of all, the best Nescafe is Nescafe Classico Colombian. Let there be no question. Let's go ahead and break the seal. This is how we break the seal. We get a hold of it, however the hell we get a hold of it, and then we just tear it off. There's no need to penetrate it. It's a repulsive concept. Uh, the other thing I'd like to point out is you notice I'm not wearing any kind of a nasty polyester bathrobe, which is absolutely disgusting. This is how we do it. You put your coffee in there, however much you want, I don't like my coffee particularly strong because, as I said, it's disgusting. So if you have too much of it in there, it makes it more disgusting. Also, if you keep your sugar in something airtight, then you don't have problems with getting moisture in it. Now, I like lots of sugar with my coffee. Otherwise, it doesn't take, taste like ice cream. You can taste more of the coffee, which is fundamentally disgusting. You will note that I am using anything but one of AA's mugs. Because in protest, I will have nothing further to do with his mugs. He simply, ugh, ugh, the, the, ugh. I, he's let me down. He's let me down. There's an emptiness inside me. My one remaining feeling is absolutely compromised. I don't even know what to do with it. Now, the other important thing to understand is what you have to use uh, as your uh, quote unquote milk or whatever. What you use is heavy whipping cream. Alright, let's let this thing come up. By the way, I'm, not only do I not have a polyester bathrobe on, I'm naked. Civilized men are naked first thing in the morning. The only thing I would wear besides being sky clad utterly naked, balls out, going commando, the only thing I would possibly wear in these circumstances would be a silver torque. Men should be naked, perhaps wearing jewelry, nothing else first thing in the morning. It's, it's preposterous, it's, it's sad and middle class to do anything but. So then we pour our hot water in. Notice that I don't put the coffee, freeze-dried coffee granules, into milk because they don't dissolve. Only very, very, very silly people who are absolutely unreliable do any such thing. Notice that I only fill it a part of the way up because then I can stir it without having it slop all over the sides. I can get a nice brisk stirring going. You see? This is relatively straightforward if you're not water-headed. Okay, now we're going to pour a little bit more in there. See how that works? That's very straightforward. Now everything dissolved neatly. Then you take your Half and, half and half, or in my case, heavy whipping cream, which is exactly what we all desire, which is what the best of us drink. And now I have myself a delicious cup, if somewhat disgusting, of instant coffee. Note again that I am not using a damned academic agent mug out of protest. I recommend the channel Guide to Culture. Um, Nescafe Classico Colombian is the best of all of these. I use an airtight container for my sugar so I don't get globs and chunks of it. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, there we are. Welcome to adulthood. Welcome to civilization. Now, get out.